or whether you are attending with us this morning remotely. Welcome to the last Sunday of, uh, uh, oh, we haven't plugged in yet. Well, let's, let's take two. Uh, where is it? Here, I got it. I got it. But do we have to turn this off first? No, no, no. Okay, we're good? We're good. All right. I think we're got it. As you can tell, I'm not the technical one. <laughs> um, but uh, Pastor Nathan is here um, today in, in the same capacity that you are in. He has a well-deserved Sunday off. Um, so uh, this whole week, he, he'll be off. If you need anything, feel free to contact me at the church office. Um, and just keep him in prayer as uh, we enter into a new year. So with that, I would invite you to join with me in the call to worship. In the beginning was the word, spoken, creating the world. Jesus, Jesus you, you are the word of God. The word gives life. That life is light. Jesus, the darkness cannot put out your light. At the beginning of our time, speak, shake our worlds. Jesus, we're hungry for your words of life. We cannot live by food alone. We wait on the words that come from the mouth of God. The word became flesh and blood and moved into our neighborhood. It is time for us to put flesh on your word. That we might be your hands and feet in our homes, jobs, and streets. We will worship the Lord and serve him only. We will let our light shine in the darkness. That the world might see and be transformed. And praise our Father in heaven. Amen.
Would you join with me in prayer? Holy God, author of life and source of all hope, hear our prayer. We know that the blank slate of a new year seems so promising. We haven't done anything too awful, not yet. And we know that the blank slate of a new year is also an illusion. Time continues, and our lives flow from one day to the next, from one year to the next. In this time, we know we are sometimes remarkable and generous, bearing light to the shadows, and we know we are sometimes full of despair and selfishness, hoarding light and goodness for ourselves. We invite you on our journeys, O God. We seek your presence with us in the darkness and the light, in our remarkable moments and our awful ones. We seek your presence and bask in your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
our uh, first scripture lesson. We have a couple today. The first one is taken from the Old Testament book of the prophet Isaiah. We're reading in chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son is given, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of the hosts will do this. And then we shift to the gospel reading of John. And uh, because you've been sitting a while, I'm going to invite you to stand for the gospel reading today if you are led. We're starting in chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And then continuing in chapter 8, verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. So, First, I'm going to apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh, I can't do this without you doing that. <laughs> oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope a weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, hear the angel voices, O oh, night, divine, O oh, night, when Christ was born. O oh, night, divine, O oh, night, O oh, night, divine. Led by the light of faith serenely beaming, 
with glowing heart by his cradle we stand so led by light of a star sweetly gleaming here came the wise man from orient land the king of kings lay thus in lowly manger in all our trials born to be our friend he knows our need he guards us from all danger behold your king before him lowly bend behold your king before him lowly bend truly he taught us to love one another his law is love and his gospel is peace chains shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name christ is the lord oh praise his name forever his power and glory evermore proclaim his power and glory evermore proclaim. <laughs> oh, amen to that. Um, so, what I started to say with my muscle memory is that I apologize if any of you are sick of hearing Oh Holy Night or any of the Christmas carols, but it is my absolute favorite, and I just haven't quite had my fill of these Christmas tunes yet this year. Um, and having Andrew sing it now, having Samantha sing it during our live performance, having Savannah sing it during our pre-recorded service, it, it just, oh gosh, it takes me to a place of, of peace and power that is uh, just healing for me. Uh, so I'm going to push that. If you haven't seen any of those, if you weren't here, be sure to go to the Pond's YouTube channel, check them out. Right? <clears throat> I think that you will listen to them and never listen to Mariah Carey's version ever the same again. <laughs> so um, Andrew, everyone, thank you for indulging me with it one more time. But it was actually while Savannah was singing O Holy Night, while we were pre-recording it, um, that it hit me. Um, it hit me the line that said, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. It felt for me like that line was written for us this year. 2020 has been a year, hasn't it? And I doubt there isn't anyone here or watching that isn't ready to usher it out and welcome 2021 in. It's been a hard year for humanity. Some have been put through trials like Job losing everything, security, loved ones, family, friends, jobs, 
Some have struggled through loneliness. Some have had to move. There are a few who can say 2020 has been a good year, but they too are tired of all the restrictions the way and the way that COVID has changed our lives forever. I am so tired of this. I'm tired of not being able to see many of you. I'm tired of having to keep our distance and tired of these masks that we have to wear and I'm tired of losing people. I want all that I've lost this year back. I miss Chip and Annie and Dot and Jane and everyone. The colleagues that Nathan and I have lost, they should be here with us. And I'm tired of checking social media daily for the report on my friend Cheryl, who is on her fourth week of a ventilator, fighting for her life. I want her back home with her husband and her dogs, painting pallets and creating uh, flags and Christmas trees from them. I'm tired of all the cancer that has taken friends or tortured them, maybe even some of you. I'm tired of worrying about who I've been in contact with and whether or not it's safe to see my parents because I would be devastated if I lost them to COVID. I am tired and I suspect you are too. We are a weary world. And this weary world, it's looking to 2021 to be the saving grace that we need from all that makes us tired in this world. You know, everywhere I turn, there's a commercial or an ad or someone saying, goodbye 2020, hello 2021. Commercials are loaded with them. The news reports, I've said it. This weary world cannot usher 2020 out fast enough. We want something to rejoice over, and 2021 is bringing it. For yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Hurry up, 2021. We need you. We've got the vaccine in distribution now, and while it will take time, we're looking forward with a glimmer of hope to life with some sort of normalcy again. I've said it myself, next year at this time, we will be celebrating all together again. No restrictions on how many can fit inside this sanctuary safely. We'll have the biggest, happiest holiday gatherings taking place. Families will be celebrating in large bunches, making sure everyone is present. We know it will take time, but seeing that light at the end of the COVID tunnel, it gives us joy and it helps us keep going. What this pandemic has overshadowed for this weary world is that hope that we have been so desperately searching for, it's been here all along. We are ready for that new and glorious morn, but it isn't 2021 that brings salvation to the human race. That new and glorious morn occurred over 2,000 years ago when that beautiful, quiet, understated morning first dawned. That precious morning that we celebrate every Christmas. Our scripture text, it spelled it out for us. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. In this very dark year, it is not always easy to remember we have had the light with us all along. Christ has been with us through all of our challenges, all of our losses, all of the changes of 2020. When we wept at the deaths of those we loved, we were not weeping alone. When we hunkered down in our homes and when we washed our hands till they were raw, we were not abandoned. When we worried about loved ones, friends, our community members being alone, they were never completely alone. And that has not changed because of COVID. 
Christ has been present, bringing light and life to all long before this coronavirus and continues to be with us long after the vaccines are administered and COVID is reined in. And Christ, Christ continues to give us that hope, that new and glorious morn every single day, every time we are weary. And right now, yeah, this world has indeed become weary. And while it's really easy to lay blame on the, pan on the pandemic, it's not the cause for all of its weariness. Because the shadows of this world, they are great. And the world forgets to look through the darkness to see the light. And it's when we lose focus on that light that we feel the weariness in a greater way. And as followers of Jesus Christ, we have been given that light, the light of Christ to share, to help the world refocus and see that light not being overcome by that darkness, but shining through it. Way back in October of 2009, long time ago, I participated in the Avon Breast Cancer Crusade, where I walked over 27 miles in two days in the city. And I have to admit, I heard the word walk and thought, no problem, it's walking. I was an avid hiker at the time, I walked about every day. So walking in the city for two days with friends, grand time, be wonderful. I trained some. But I didn't really put a lot of work into it because it was walking, right? <laughs> 13 miles a day of walking was just walking. And you all, you can see where this is going, can't you? <laughs> About halfway through day one, I was hurting. I had blisters on my swollen feet. I was probably a bit dehydrated and it became more and more tempting to cut my losses, grab the medical bus, and quit the walk. But one of the things that kept me going was the cheerleaders. The walk planners had them in place, and every so often I'd walk around a corner, and there was a small group of people wearing crazy pink outfits, playing fun, upbeat music, offering water, and shouting out words of encouragement to us walkers to keep going. And those cheers, they really did help. Day two, about a mile left to go, these cheerleaders, they lined the street with these voices of encouragement. Past walkers were there, survivors, family members of walkers, friends, strangers. So many people came out to cheer us on, to get us to that finish line when most of us were limping and hurting and really ready to quit. They were a lifeline to that glorious finish line. Right now, 2020, it feels like that moment. We've had so much to contend with this year and it feels like we are almost broken. But that finish line, it's there. We can see it. The world needs those voices of encouragement and cheer. And you and I, we've been placed here for just this moment. We are to line the streets and cheer others on, shouting words of encouragement to them, giving them energy to cross that finish line, pointing them to the light, helping them see that indeed a new and glorious morn has broken through the shadows and offers that rest they so desperately need. You, dear ones, you've been given that light, the light that shines in the darkness, the light that is this new and glorious morn. Go light your world with it. Drive the shadows back. Help this weary world rejoice as we enter 2021.
Amen. Would you pray with me? Almighty God, who is with us. On this last Sunday of 2020, we can say that this indeed has been a really hard year. We are weary. Our minds and bodies are tired, but our hearts are full. You, who was and is and is to come, you are unchanging, the true light of the world and the hope of all nations. Renew us, Lord. Empower us to point to your light shining in the darkness, that this weary world may know the shadows have not overcome us, that this weary world rejoices, for the light of life is here. Lord, we continue to ask for healing for those we love and care about, for Cheryl and Kathy who need miracles. We think of all of those fighting medical or emotional battles, and we ask that you would be their champion. For those who are struggling with lost wages, unemployment, financial tangles, hunger, proper shelter, loneliness, you know them. You hold them in the palm of your hand. We think of families who have lost someone and are especially thinking of the Marqueses right now. Lord, we ask your blessing on this new year ahead of us. Bring peace and health to our world and give us the wisdom and courage to hold out the light of your love to others. And this incredible gift of love from you, Jesus Christ, whose birth is fresh in our minds, Lord, we are grateful. There are no words perfect enough to describe our awe in you, your perfect love, the light that shines in the darkness. So we use yours, offering to you now the words that you taught us to say, praying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Come out of sadness from wherever you've been come broken hearted let rescue begin come find your mercy O oh sinner come kneel earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal so lay down your burden Lay down your shame All who are broken Lift up your face O oh, wanderer, come home You're not too far So lay down your hurt Lay down your heart Come as you are There's 
hope for the hopeless, for those who have strayed. Come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's a rest for the weary, and a rest that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can cure. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. Wanderer, come home, you're not too far. So lay down your hurt, lay down your heart, come as you are, come as you are, fall in his arms, come as you are, there's joy for the morning, oh sinner be still. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up me faith. too far lay down your hurt lay down your heart come as you are come as you are come as you are come as you are can come as you are, weary, tired, energetic, exuberant. It doesn't matter because you carry with you the light of the life of the world that does not get hidden by the darkness. It is not overcome it, but it shines for all. Now go with the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>